Hi, my name is Omer, and thank you for watching such motors. Today we are going to change oil in my wife's E65. Also with the oil change, I'm going to change the oil sand gasket, uh, the drain block, also of course the oil filter, and I have a new oil filter housing. And I will change the O-ring that is fitted to the oil level sensor. But first, uh, before I'm going to lift the car, I will reset the service interval. So the easiest way to reset the service is to press and hold the left the instrument button. Then the menu should appear. Now the, there's a menu, uh, I, I can reset the engine oil, uh, microfilter, uh, wear brakes, so I can reset all the services. Uh, I'm going to reset the engine oil, so I press and hold the left button again. Then on the right side there is a reset engine oil uh, available, so I press and hold it again. And now it says the reset engine oil OK. So now the engine oil has been resetted. It shows that the, the next the oil change should be after 25,000 kilometers. It's, uh, I think that's too much, so I will change the oil approximately 10,000 kilometers. And also I will change the microfilter, so I hold the button again. Check the reset and Reset microfilter. Okay, so now the uh, microfilter and engine oil services has been resetted, and I can exit the menu by returning. Hold the button, and now I resetted all the services. Now, when I go and see the service service list in the iDrive, uh, I can see that the engine oil is off OK and 25,000 kilometers for the next change. And also, if I check the microfilter, the microfilter is also reset. So I can uh, go and lift the lift the car and change the oil. Also, what I forgot to mention is that this car actually leaks oil quite badly. Uh, if you have owned the E65 with V8 or V12, or you know about these engines, then you probably know the uh, the, the leak. It's uh, it's the oil uh, thermostat housing that uh, has the gasket between the engine block, and it's uh, it's leaking quite badly. Uh, let me show you some uh, footage. First thing I'm going to do is uh, remove the reinforcement plate and after that I can drain the oil. I remove the oil filter. The oil filter is actually uh, quite neat on this car. Uh, there's a separate drain plug for the filter housing and then I can remove the oil sand.
the castor oil can clean actually is quite trusted from this side and also where the oil level sensor is so right now I will put this pan on with the new gaskets but probably the next oil change I will make I will replace the replace the oil sump itself because as you can see it's it's really rusted and uh, it will probably leak from here I have to clean it up a bit more from here where it rusts rusts and then I can install So now everything is finished, uh, the oil level is in uh, maximum, it took around around uh, eight and a half liters of oil, a bit more than eight and a half, and now I will warm up the engine uh, and see if there are any leaks, I hope there aren't any leaks, then I will put on the on the same panels and load the car and I'll be finished. Screen wipers. If you don't know, then let me close the hood. You can't change the windscreen wipers like this. The previous owner has uh, dried it, and the paint is really uh, paint is uh, scratched over here. To get the windscreen wipers in the utmost position, you have to turn the ignition off, and then push the uh, windscreen wiper stick up. So the windscreen wipers will go the will go to the most upmost position, and then it's really easy to change the change the change the wiper.